Is this the worst way to lose a state championship? Two and two, two on. Strike three. And he's out, Hornell wins it. Oh, wait a minute, Hornell's got to pay attention. I'm not sure what's going on here. So is this the way it's going to end? Wow. Pale Max going to win it? There is much confusion. So you know what we're going to do? Clarify all of it. So I'm going to watch it again with you, and we'll go over what happened. So we're replaying the video. The batter with Pale Mac has two strikes. As you saw, members of the team eventually trot home. That would indicate there were runners on second and third with first base open. This is important. There was a swing and miss by the batter a drop third strike, and what we initially thought was the catcher tagging the batter, except when we slow it down, he didn't. He did not tag the batter or throw to first. This is very important. Hornell's team would start celebrating. Parents were celebrating. The players jumping for joy. It was too soon to throw their arms in the air because, as I said, no one tagged the batter and no one threw to first. And that is where we have what some are writing as a controversial finish, even though it is anything but. This is one team understanding the rules of baseball, and sadly, the other one not. Society for American Baseball Research wrote, The drop third strike is a peculiar rule. Three strikes and you're out seems a fundamental, fundamental element, yet there is the odd exception. If the catcher fails to catch the ball on a third strike and first base is open or there are two outs, then the batter becomes a runner. I know, very confusing for the novice. Most of the time, this makes no difference. The catcher blocks the ball. The batter begins to stroll back to the dugout. The catcher picks it up, tags him, out. Occasionally, the ball gets a few feet past the catcher, and the batter takes this more seriously and makes a run to first, only to be called out because the ball beats him there. But on rare occasion, magical occasions like this, the rule matters. The pitcher throws a breaking ball in the dirt. The batter and the catcher lunge after it. Neither successfully. It skitters to the backstop, and the batter ends up at first base with the gift of a new life. This doesn't happen often, but when it does, it can be costly. Oh, you don't say. They would also write, you know, the Dodgers in 1941 and even here in this state championship. And the question many are asking today, is this quite possibly the worst way to lose a state championship? I'd say it's up there. Can you indicate another? Comment below.